Thanks for coming over. This is Amadeus, and today's Dungeon Under Champion video is going to be about Steel Widow 12 and upping your raid game. So we spend a lot of time farming consistently, uh, efficiently, fast, you know, however you want to look at it, Steel Widow 10, Steel Widow 11. But man, I want to up my raid game. I want to do the exact same thing with Steel Widow 12. I know we got teams that can do it in Steel Widow 13 when they're fully skilled up, and I'm still looking for some of those skill ups for a couple of my champions, but... I was talking to a couple of folks from the community and they're really struggling to complete Steel Widow 12 consistently. And I'm like, well, you know what? I need to dial in on Steel Widow 12 myself. So let me build a team. Let me look at some things and let's get everybody started going in the right direction. So the first thing I wanted to do was make a Steel Widow 12 team that could be accessible to everybody because Steel Widow 12 hits really, really hard, right? And it's definitely a, a raid that is going to challenge your ability to create teams as well as uh, challenge you on how you build your champions now. So it is element neutral, being light, so you really can't bring in, um, you can't bring in elements to give you like that, that element advantage. So that's one thing to look at. So basically your base stats are just whatever they're gonna be, right? Unless you got some really fat dark champions and then they'll do some more damage. But none of there aren't going to be any of this elemental advantage nonsense. So I was like, man, that really kind of plays. That that does kind of make it a little bit tougher. Um, and I, you know, I started off with my traditional team, and I and I basically had to peel it back into the team until we got to the team you see right now. So we got two champions on here that are helping to cleanse everything off. So we have a pretty high attack speed uh, light archangel and. We have the Water Magical Girl. Both of those champions cleanse. And it's super important that you get some consistent cleansing going on this team because uh, no matter what your resistance is, the, <laughs> the Steel Widow is going to drop some bombs on you and it could really mess up your day. So you need to make sure you got some good cleansers on there. You also got to make sure that you got some decent damage dealers. Um, and I have damage dealers in the forms of Rhoda and Wink. Truly my only 100% straightforward damage dealer is Wink. And I'll show you exactly what I mean. Let's actually look at their gear setup. So first and foremost, just for the community out there, let's, let's, set, some, let's set some standards. Every single one of these champions is skilled up, right? Every single one of them. So that's like a minimum requirement for, uh, for this team. Like if you want to have that consistent one minute uh, Steel Widow 12 team like we just showed you everybody's got to be fully skilled up They got to have decent gear. And they got to be six star max level So from a gear standpoint, this is what we're looking at for the water magic girl that we brought in and high accuracy high uh, HP Mediocre in my personal opinion when it comes to defense. I would love to add about 500 to that defense if I could find a way um, And let me tell you what's really important the passive is important because that's all about keeping everybody alive with wish. Remember, uh, damage is targeting me from a distance, becomes empowered every five seconds, causing the next attack to deal damage to enemies in a line. Now, if you have your water magic girl built for damage because you use her in arena, this is not the place that you wanna use her. You wanna use these big, bulk, tanky um, water magic girls. Now, the passive, if an ally takes lethal damage, prevents death and sets their HP to portion of their max HP, and that's only every 60 seconds. And that's important, right? But it's not nearly um, as important on the team we just showed you because that team's really consistent and it really runs off of the Light Archangel Shield more than it does anything else. Now her second skill, um, it lowers defense and it adds on that um, black buff, which is huge. But this is the one, this is the skill. This is why she's on Adept specifically for this team. Not only to get the heals up consistently, but as you saw in that run, we didn't use a lot of heals. But in this specific uh, raid, we want to make sure that this is as high, high max skill because the skill cooldown drops. She's on adept because this skill summons a circle, heals all allies, and removes all debuffs. That's huge in this particular one. And then, of course, we got her big heal with the toughness. Now, um, the next champion I want to touch base on is... Uh, where is that beautiful fairy? There she is. Boom, boom. So, is uh, is uh, Wink the Nature Fairy? Now I have her built on uh, Mortal, uh, Broken, uh, High Crit, High Attack Speed, um, 
you know, because these are the stats I wanted to get. I, I'll be honest, I don't care what set she's on, as long as she has these stats. And I've said that a couple times with the fairies, because everybody who watches this channel consistently knows that I love the fairies. They're just these amazing champions. But see, I just, I almost got her fully skilled up. I just need four more, four more. Got to get four more <laughs> water or or uh, fire fairies, and then I'm, I'm all good. Now, for her, she, she is just going through. She's just a damage. She's a damage demon, man. She's just in there. She's in there messing all sorts of stuff up. Now, one of the champions that also facilitates this is Hoshi. Again, love this champion. So, uh, so underrated, in my personal opinion, um, from, from the top tier uh, uh, champions. Because, I'll be honest, she works every team. She makes every team better when it comes to PvE. Um, and that's because she strips... Well, let's, we'll just look at it. She Ongoing damage is whatever. <laughs> but look, I mean, she lowers defense. She buff blocks. She strips. She buff blocks. She uh, raises attack and lowers her own skill cooldown, right? And those of her allies. So this is... She's, she's a very solid, solid unit. Couldn't recommend her enough to be on this team. And then uh, when we look at... Um, the Light Archangel, super great um, because of that first skill, every eighth attack uh, empowers it. So uh, what I will say is like higher attack rate is important. Higher, higher attack rate, very, very important. Gonna, or attack speed rather, because that is gonna be every eight attacks. But you can't give up all this glorious HP um, on this unit, um, just so good. But I do have accuracy, I use them a lot in Arena. Um, so keep that in mind if you're not using them there. And I built it on Adept Precise because I want them to land that silence, right? That's what we talk about. So you'll see a lot of HP accuracy, a lot of HP uh, accuracy defense. Not too much defense, let's be honest. That, that gear piece, if it wasn't for the HP, would be brutal. Here's a great HP accuracy uh, combination. This is, this is really just for the attack speed. And then this is really just going to be for the attack speed. Now, move speed. I, you know what? I should probably orb this. Um, but, you know what? It's not legendary. So, maybe I won't orb it. But that's all this is. Uh, that move speed's not really, really all that important. I will say that I got a recommendation from the community for my my Tor Leon. And dropped that bad boy on there just to help him with cleansing. And he works great on that Steel Widow uh, 12 team. But I wanted to make it a little bit more accessible. By tossing in, by tossing in my boy, uh, Valor. So, the last unit we're going to look at is... Where is... Oh, boom. So, earlier I said that Wink was really my only real total 100% DPS. And that's because my Rota is a support build. As you can see, 100% accuracy. Or I'm sorry, 100% crit rate. Um, mediocre accuracy. Um pretty decent attack speed uh definitely definitely if i was going for attack speed I, it would be built a little bit differently but she's on adept keen and i have her on attack speed defense and then attack so she so we're not really trying to focus on the crit damage piece of this trying to give her some survivability um and then the rest of her stats are really just going to revolve around crit rate try and squeeze in some accuracy on there and um, anything else we could do from look at that crit rate plus 17 accuracy plus six so awesome but it makes a really really solid team to be able to go through and do uh, Steel Widow 12 and I will say that this is probably um, probably one of the most consistent Steel Widow 12 teams I've only done probably 75 runs so far and I haven't I haven't died right so if you know 75 runs it's just not that much um i usually like before i recommend a team i like to be in the hundreds of runs so i'm going to keep testing this out but i i mean based on that conversation that i had with a couple of folks today we gotta up our raid game folks up our raid game we can't just we can't be satisfied with still widow 11. but i would personally when i see a team like this that's totally accessible to the majority of players um with gear that's accessible to mid to late game players i'm like man why are we talking about steel widow 11 so much this is about the same amount of time and as we all know the high well maybe we don't all know because i i have to trust the developers on this statement 
but the higher you go, the rate drops don't increase. So you're not gonna get more six stars, but you're supposed to get better six stars as far as substats go and the grade goes. So you're probably more likely to get six star blue in 11 versus six star, uh, six star purple gear, say, in Steel Widow 12. And like I said, that was on Discord and general chat uh, from the developers a while back. But I mean, if, if there's a chance for me to get better gear, I'm 100% all about it. But before I go, before I go all crazy and say this is the best thing since sliced bread, I want to get a couple of more raids in here. I want to get a couple of, or not more raids. I want, well, yeah, more raids. I want to get a couple more runs in. I want to get some more consistency. Consistency. I want to see the reason that it wipes if it ends up uh, wiping on us. Um, and then I want to work on making it a lot, lot faster. I don't know if we'll be able to get it down to 47, 45 seconds like we have Steel Widow 11. But if we can get it down to 50 seconds, I think I'd be pretty happy. You know, pretty, pretty happy. But like I said, I definitely want to get some better, better, uh, better, more. Oh, look at that. It's the best time. That's ridiculous. A minute and 16. But, but I definitely want to get more consistent, higher uh, level raids going on. So if you are in that same boat with me and you're like, oh man, I got to level up my raid game. I got to get to Steel Widow 12, Steel Widow 13. Drop, it in, drop your team in the comments below. Let, let me know what's going on, what you find to be successful. If you got tips, hints, or tricks for the community at large, man, share it. Because we got a lot of new players, you know, coming into the community. A lot of influx of new people looking to, like, stretch their team, stretch their uh, achievements out. So, definitely drop it in the comments below. And if you know somebody that likes the videos, go ahead and share them, guys. I'd appreciate it. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Later.